The launch of Chandrayaan-3 was a moment of national pride for India. The spacecraft was equipped with a lunar lander and rover. Its mission? To land on the moon's south pole, a feat yet to be achieved by any other nation. This 40-day-long journey was meticulously planned with precision. Interest in the southern pole of the moon stems primarily from the fact that scientists suspected frozen water in the permanently shadowed craters there, and locating water is a large part of Chandrayaan-3's mission. After landing, the rover deployed from the lander and began its exploration. In just two weeks, the Indian mission has made some surprising discoveries about the composition of the moon. Chandrayaan-3's trail of discoveries began with the lunar atmosphere. Chandrayaan-3's instruments have provided valuable data on the composition of the moon's exosphere, which is the extremely thin atmosphere-like layer surrounding the lunar surface. The pressure is 300 trillion times smaller than the Earth's pressure at sea level. This data helps us understand the distribution and abundance of various elements and molecules in the exosphere such as hydrogen, helium, oxygen, and sodium to study Moon's history and evolution. We also find that the Moon possesses a tenuous ionosphere. Ionosphere is the region of the lunar atmosphere that is ionized by solar and cosmic radiation that roughly one million times more tenuous than that of the Earth. This probe will help determine whether the ionosphere is compactly packed at all times or if its density changes over time and varying sunlight conditions. Furthermore, the lander made an interesting discovery just below the surface of the Moon. This mission detected water ice at the Moon's south pole. Water ice on the Moon is primarily found in permanently shadowed regions at the lunar poles, where temperatures are extremely low. While the temperature on the surface was nearly 60 degrees Celsius, it plummeted sharply below the surface, dropping to minus 10 degrees Celsius at only 3 inches below the ground, reaching as low as minus 157 degrees Celsius. These regions within craters are shielded from direct sunlight, allowing water ice to persist. It can be harnessed for drinking, generating breathable air, and crafting rocket fuel. Additionally, Chandrayaan-3 unveiled an unprecedented mineral composition in lunar soil. These discoveries could provide valuable clues about the Moon's formation and early history, as well as its potential as a resource for future lunar exploration and colonization. The next notable event occurred on the 26th of August, three days after landing. Chandrayaan-3's Vikram lander has detected natural seismic activity on the lunar surface called moonquakes. Quakes on the Moon can happen due to four main reasons. The first is deep moonquakes originate hundreds of kilometers below the surface that are likely caused by tidal forces or gravitational interactions between the Earth and the Moon. Then, shallow moonquakes. It happens a few tens of kilometers below the surface. Shallow moonquakes are the result of the Moon shrinking over time, which then creates stress within the Moon and triggers moonquakes near the surface. The third, meteoritic moonquakes. It happens due to seismic events resulting from the impact of meteoroids or asteroids on the lunar surface. The fourth, thermal moonquakes. It is seismic events caused by the expansion and contraction of the lunar surface as it heats up and cools down during the lunar day-night cycle. The next big discovery is came from instrument onboard Chandrayaan-3 rover, laser-induced breakdown spectroscopy or LIBS, LIBS is a sophisticated scientific technique to analyze the composition of materials by focusing laser pulses onto the lunar soil. It generates a localized high-temperature plasma. LIBS revealed the presence of several elements on the lunar surface, including aluminum, sulfur, calcium, iron, chromium, and titanium. Subsequent measurements have also unveiled the presence of manganese, silicon, and oxygen. In a remarkable development, LIBS detected sulfur in the lunar soil near the South Pole, confirming its presence unequivocally. This discovery is significant as it was previously not possible to confirm the presence of this element using remote orbiter analysis techniques. The missions was considered a success. Chandrayaan-3 achieved the softest of landings for Vikram on the surface of the Moon, and it collected a lot of valuable data. The Indian Space Agency is now working with Japanese space entity to launch the fourth lunar mission called Chandrayaan-4 or LUPEX.